hello guys and welcome back to pro web coder in previous uh, video we studied about json templates and how to use the json template in this tutorial i'm gonna explain about the article and how to use the articles in shopify but before doing that i actually created uh, in the back end i created a few blocks like two to three blocks so that uh, we are able to show the articles so how it works is uh, we have this blog posts these are called articles and let me actually add another image just for now so let's add this one and save it and also i did add uh, one more thing i added a menu at the top so the menu would be like it's just oh i'm just gonna add an image of uh, someone well i'll add myself no copyright issues so <coughs> uh it didn't add the image for some reason mm, yeah it added the image so okay so these two images are added blog posts are created with dummy text now what uh, well we'll have to see how the blog page looks like that's uh we can view this blog post how it looks like uh we have this image and uh, all the text coming up and let's see how it's coming up all right so article uh template is something which uh in it which basically is a blog post uh well uh, if you're aware about it what is a blog a blog is uh kind of uh, like it basically the article template renders the article page with which contains full content of the article as well as the, an optional comments section for customers so yeah so it will have the article and you know uh, we can have a comment section in in general although it's uh used in shopify but it's not too common uh it's it's good to put blog post why because it's good for search engine optimization in the blog post uh, we can add um, good keywords so that's why blog posts are included and uh, is a very good way for uh, organic uh, search engine optimization or organic uh organic uh, social like social media uh, optimization i would say so yeah we can add tags etc into this blog post and all the necessary information over here so yeah that was about blog post but let's see how it it, it, it works so if we check uh, the main article so uh, let's see the section so what i'm going to do is i'm gonna uh, go to this templates and uh, I'll just uh, not talk about article.json because JSON we already studied what is uh, JSON but we are going to talk about this main article whatever uh, for example if we talk about blog I, I would be talking about the main blog uh, article I would be talking about main article so how to create those things so uh, in the upcoming tutorials i'll be for example blog i'll be talking about the blog page and and so on so sections are actually um, i i would be including them as a section so uh, even this main article i'll be including it as a section so first of all i'll delete all the uh, all the code which is present over here will remove everything which is over here you don't need it 
so let's delete almost everything except for, uh, for schema uh, we can add some schema tags over, over here and let's article should be closed and let's see let's save it and it shouldn't come up with an error but it should come up with a, a blank page for example now if i load this it will just uh, load up a blank page why because we don't have uh, any text written over here we, we just have the schema so even the schema we can uh, delete but uh, i'll just keep it for now i'll just keep it for now because uh, i'll be coming to sections in the sections uh, ex sections topic but meanwhile we can just uh, work on this section uh, this this part how to add articles so let's see in the documentation what's provided in the documentation so uh, you should include the following in your uh, article template so one is article object well the article object is uh, if we check the article over here if we check what we have so article object has author comment post content created at and all of these values so if if i click on this you know the article object so i i saw the article object has these values so we can derive this values we can uh, get the values from this for example let's see we have this article object and in that article object we have what we have that auth author so author right so if i save it now and uh, just in case if if i want to refresh it you see the author is given over here so same goes like we are just going to follow these whatever we need we can get this so under comments we see it's an array because of uh, two braces are uh, not braces but the brackets uh, so we are uh, going f we, we will get that with the help of for loop so that's an op uh, that's uh, again that's an array even the tags are is an array so we can access them with the help of for loop so what else we can access we can uh, access uh, content uh, we can access uh, the title right how we can just access the title so uh, first of all we can arrange it in a proper way so article dot title and let's keep it in h1 tag let's arrange it so i'm not talking about i'm not uh, talking about the the look of the website at the moment because uh, uh, currently i'm just going to explain uh, how we use these things but in the end what i'll do is i'll i'll, I'll show you everything uh, how to make them uh, look better so that would be a uh, a complete HTML CSS JavaScript plus Shopify liquid tutorial so yes so I'll be telling it in the end but before that we, we just need to get the values first of all so h1 then uh, we can keep this in h6 and close this h6 tag and now uh, we want paragraph and under paragraph we have uh, article dot content we can get article dot content and we can again close the paragraph so let's see what we get over here okay so we have this article dot content uh, 
टाइटल एंड ऑथर ऑल राइट नाउ आई ऑल्सो वॉन्ट द इमेज सो लेट सी द इमेज इज अगेन एन ऑब्जेक्ट सो वी कैन गेट द इमेज फॉर एग्जाम्पल गेट द इमेज फर्स्ट सो आई यूज द लेट्स सी लेट्स एड आर्टिकल डॉट इमेज and it should be uh, image url and uh, we get the image with this uh, let's see okay we have two pipes over here so my bad so let's see if we get the article dot image url yes we did and we should wrap it in image tag right and again we have two pipe symbols we can remove that pipe sim symbols but now let's see if we have this yeah we have the image uh the blog title uh the blog content and uh the name of the author now if we want uh like there, there should be a comments form also so for that we'll use this provided by shopify itself so let's add it inside a div uh div let's i think so it's already given in, in inside a div so we can uh, add it div uh, class equal to form comments right and uh I'll close this, save it, and I'll be able to see this now. So we have this comment section, email, and let's add a comment. Hola. Uh, well, I'll just uh, add uh, another URL. So Rahul at Pro Web Co. Let's see dot com okay and hi this is a test so I'll, I'll post this comment but what if i want to see the comments also so i think so shopify did provide this pagination and uh, we can for example uh, check this for comments 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 is an array so uh, to get inside an array we will be using a for loop right so like this we we can use the for loop and um, if we want to paginate then we can use the pagination so i'm going to use this whole thing and uh, i'll also show the comments so what we have under comments let's see if uh, the documentation documentation provides uh, comments so under comments we have author content uh, created at email and so on all right so what we need is uh, let's see uh, we need uh, we need comment dot uh we'll need we'll need a uh, email right and uh let's say comment dot does it say name author i would say yeah author then uh, i need comment dot content and i if i save this i'll be able to get the comments okay so just to see uh, like i'll just paginate instead of 20 i'll just paginate by one that means after every single comment there would be a next page so let's see we have three pages first is this value then we can move on to the next and next 
so we have this mini structure created uh, although it's not super good looking but it's the base skeletal which is there and uh, yeah we can um, we can design it as per our needs using uh, designing design elements uh, like we can use bootstrap or tailwind or any other uh, framework which we find uh, more more interesting at the moment i'm not using any framework i'm just uh, making it simple so that uh, i focus on the part which we have because this is not uh, an html or css session it's shopify session and uh, i i would be telling most of the things in shopify rather than uh, telling about uh, uh, the css and html in case uh, like i'll be also including a few things if, if in case uh, i need to make it tidy for example i included uh, the header uh, so that it looks good and uh, easy to navigate pages so yeah so hopefully you understood this chapter or lesson or tutorial and in case of any doubts please do uh, mention that in the comment section i'll be ready to answer those questions and if in case you are new to this channel if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel and uh, press the notification bell and yeah that's that's all for today uh in the next chapter i would be working on the blog section and i'll be telling you about how to work on the blog section and how we can implement the things using the blog section so again this thing is super important because uh, why because uh, this this object values are important because we got uh, inner values derived through through them so it's super important that you understand this all right so yeah that's all for today thank you so much guys and i'll see you next time <laughs>